Welcome to everyone and congratulations, you are now part of the LSC. Thank you all for taking the time to join us today, wherever you happen to be around the world right now. We are really looking forward to all of you being in London very soon. We expect this presentation to last around 35 minutes and its aim is to give you a broad overview of our LSE community that you've just joined. Let me first introduce myself. I'm Dimitra Petropoulou, the Deputy Head of the Department of Economics here at LSE and I'm very pleased to welcome you all on behalf of LSE. I'm joined by Tito Malokwu, General Secretary of the Students' Union, and you'll be hearing more from Tito a little bit later on. Now, before we continue, um, we would like to share a video message from LSE's President and Vice-Chancellor Larry Kramer, who wishes to welcome you personally and share some thoughts with you. I'm Larry Kramer, President and Vice-Chancellor at LSE, and I'm happy to have this opportunity to welcome you to the LSE community. Um, and, you know, I don't toss out that word community in just a casual sense. Uh, there is a distinct and very special LSE community that consists of our faculty and staff, your fellow students, both your classmates and those in other years and other programs, uh, and our alumni, the students who came before you. To be at LSE is to become part of something really unique. The school's storied past is also part of its present. The programs, people, practices, and culture of LSE have been molded by its history, and they're going to shape your experience here just as you'll shape the experience of the people who come after you. So becoming part of the London School of Economics is becoming part of something that can and should, and we hope will be part of who you are, not just during your time here, but after. There are 230,000 LSE alumni out there to whom you now have a connection, and there will be thousands after too. And all of you will have shared this special experience from having come here. What's exciting about it, and I say that as a relatively new member myself, having only joined the LSE community last spring, is, as you'll soon learn, what a really wonderful community it is. Supportive, helpful, accommodating, made up of brilliant, creative, innovative people like you. It takes a lot to be accepted at LSE. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get in if I had to apply today. Actually, I'm quite sure that you've accomplished a lot to get here, and I, I congratulate you. So now our goal is to help you accomplish more by giving you the capacity to build the kind of life you want and the kind of life that contributes, as our motto has it, to the betterment of society. What you should expect while you're here is an adventure. It will, above all, be an intellectual adventure. LSE has world-leading scholars and experts across every aspect, field, and subfield in the social sciences. You'll get the opportunity to study with and learn from them, but not just them. Your fellow students will and should equally be part of your intellectual adventure, and you will and should learn as much from engaging with them about your studies and about what you're experiencing as you do from your classes. Remember how unique the student body, the student body at LSE is. Students at LSE come from nearly 150 different cult countries. There's no other university anywhere like it as we like to say, the world meets at LSE. So use that. Use the school too, by which I mean the whole school. Obviously you'll have a central focus of study in your department and your program, but don't stop there. Take opportunities to take classes or go to lectures and programs and conferences about other things too. Our public lecture program is unlike any you can find elsewhere, an intellectual feast of a type you can't find at any other institution in the world. But your time in university shouldn't be only about studying. You're here to learn, and your studies will naturally be the center of your activities. But they shouldn't be the whole of it because you're also here to grow, to mature and change and figure out who you are and who you want to be. University is a time to explore every aspect of yourself. At home, everyone knows who you are or thinks they do, which becomes a kind of straitjacket. Maybe that is who you want to be, but maybe you want to try some new things, try being a little different. Here you have the time and freedom to try on new identities, break out of expectations, and settle on the kind of person you want to be. Plus, you're in London, one of the most diverse, vibrant, interesting cities in the world. So use that, too. Take advantage of the social, political, cultural, and artistic capital in this city to add to your experience and education. One thing about coming to a school with the many kinds of diversity you'll encounter here is that you're going to encounter people from cultures and backgrounds very different from yours, and people whose opinions and philosophies are very different from yours. 
Core to the university is our commitment to free speech on campus, so long as the speech remains lawful. But let's be honest, that can be hard. Yet encountering speech and ideas that challenge your views and opinions can be one of the best things about coming to a place like this. You should want that. We definitely want it for you. We want it even knowing that sometimes it means you'll encounter ideas that you not only think are wrong, but that may offend you or even feel threatening to your very identity. Don't retreat from that. Don't confine yourself to people who agree with you and condemn or try to shut out or shut off those who don't. We will keep you physically safe, but intellectually, you should expect to be pushed and challenged and thrown off balance. If that doesn't happen, we're failing you in an important way because you will encounter upsetting ideas after you leave here and throughout your life. And we wanna equip you to deal with them. So what does that mean? It means equipping you to deal with others, even those you disagree with vehemently with civility and respect. It means equipping you to hear what they are saying in case you don't fully understand it and could benefit, but also equipping you to help them hear you. So maybe you can do that for them. Learning how to choose dialogue over confrontation can and should be an important part of your education both so you hear what you need and so you can be as effective as possible when you leave. We want this to be part of your education throughout your time here. To help start after Welcome Week, we'll make a simple online course available to everyone. It's designed to help establish both norms and a common language and understanding around dialogue to equip you with essential skills needed to communicate effectively across difference. It's optional, but I do urge you to give it a try. As I said at the outset, this will be an exciting time of huge personal growth. I think you get the gist of my advice here. LSE is a vibrant, dynamic, and intellectually stimulating place. So connect with the experiences, people, and possibilities it offers. Be open to everything. Treat it as an opportunity and enjoy. I truly hope your time at LSE is as it should be the adventure of a lifetime and one that will shape your lifetime for the better. So thank you and welcome to LSE. Thank you, Larry, for those inspiring words. Now, as Larry said, being an LSE student means that you belong to an amazingly diverse and inclusive community. Hopefully, you're all very excited, if perhaps a little bit nervous, about starting your studies here at LSE. Today, uh, we will give you a flavour of what to expect from LSE, how we can support you to succeed in your studies, what our values are, and how your well-being is central to our community. We want you to understand what it really means to be part of LSE. We are one community of like minds, but of very different opinions. We are committed to building a diverse, equitable and truly inclusive university. And this is really the cornerstone of LSE's strategy as we head towards 2030. Now, just as we are proud of our community, we are incredibly proud to be a London university, as our name suggests. And by really being part of LSE, uh, you are part of one of the most amazingly exciting and vibrant and diverse cities in the world. So really, it's a fantastic opportunity. Do enjoy it. Now, before we go any further, let's get a sense of how diverse and international we are here in this webinar. So you'll see a snap poll appearing on your screen. Um, please do take a moment to vote and let us know where it is that you call home. Thank you all for voting. Um, as you can see, we've got students joining from all around the world, and it's this diversity that makes us stronger, and it is something that we celebrate. Now, whether you've traveled um, halfway around the world to be here, or just around the corner, or from anywhere in between, really, while you are studying here, we want you to think of this as a home away from home. Um, LSE is a place where you will study with staff and students who are the brightest, but also the best and also a place where you will be supported, encouraged, and given the opportunity to thrive. However, just by arriving at LSE, we don't expect you to stand still. You have just embarked on a truly exciting journey. But really, rather than a journey where you discover who you are, this is a journey where you are spending time thinking about creating who you will be in the future. Now, that's a momentous journey. And in any journey as momentous as this, there are going to be times when you need a helping hand, someone to listen, or just to know that there are people who care about you. Now, there will always be someone who cares about your studies, who cares about your well-being, uh, and most of all, who cares about you. Now, as I'm sure you're all aware, LSE degrees are academically challenging. 
Um, they will require your thoughtful engagement and we ask and expect all our students to work uh, hard. Now, we know that you expect your degree program to be challenging and you wouldn't be here if you weren't willing to uh, engage and work hard with all aspects of your studies. And we are proud of this academic challenge of our programs. And it really is one of the reasons why um, LSC degrees will open doors for you, open a gateway to um, a range of fulfilling, fantastic careers. Now, whatever it is you choose to do at the end of your studies. Now, to help you and guide you, the career service is open to you throughout and beyond your studies, in fact. There may be times when no matter how hard you work, um, you need some academic help or support. Now, the obvious place to get the support is from your teachers, uh, your academic mentor, the professional services staff in your academic department. There'll be a range of people and always there'll be someone there to help and advise you. However, uh, you can also get help and advice from other places across LSC, uh, whether you want to talk to someone about your studies, your well-being, your financial situation, or just help in general. As you can see now on your screen, there's an array of services. For example, um, the Student Hub is a wonderful port of call for you to sort of book appointments to meet academics and a range of services across our provision that you can get help from. I'd also like to draw your attention to some very specific support services um, that you can make use of um, throughout your time at LSE. Now, for some of you, um, you won't have done academic study in the English language before. So the Language Centre might be a very useful port of call for you. You can get a help in your written assessments in English. But more generally, uh, if you'd like to build up your study skills on things like exam preparation, note taking, essay writing, um, you can head to LSE Life, which you'll find on the ground floor of the library at the back through the turnstiles. Fantastic place to go, lots of available support, including our student academic mentors. Another hub of the university is the library. Lots of students spend many hours in the library, as you can imagine. It's actually a very vibrant and social space. It has an incredible and rich collection of over 4 million items, which is really astonishing. And of course, a lot of those are available electronically as well. Now, to help you navigate your way through the library, you can get in touch with subject librarians who can sort of steer you. And if there's something that you can't find in the library, there is the Get It For Me service, where the library can access materials from other libraries and beyond. So if you're unsure about where to go, do visit all these um, support services. Now, a great place to start is the SSC, the Student Services Centre, where you can get authoritative advice on school processes, procedures, and really just about anything LSE related, including specialist advice on visas and immigration matters if you need it. Now, if they don't know the answer to your question, they will know who does. And so they will direct you to the right place. And just a little word of advice, if you get an email from SSC, do read it carefully. Um, you will be able to find the SSC on the ground floor of Connaught House um, uh, this year as well. Now, as well as looking after your academic well-being, we want to make sure that your well-being in general is good. We know the last few years have been difficult uh, for so many people and in so many different ways. So we will pause here to ask how you're feeling about the year ahead. Um, another quick poll should come up on your screen. Um, there may be some things that you're concerned about. Please select up to three things that you're a little bit worried about. It could be the academic challenge of what's to come, maybe the social side, adjusting to life in London, making friends. Tell us what it is that's on your mind. Looking at your feedback, there are quite a lot of you who are feeling concerns in a range of areas and not just the academics. Making friends, adjusting to LSC, fitting in and so forth are all concerns that students have. Now, this is fine and really doesn't come as a surprise to us at all. Um, being social scientists, we have conducted research into this by surveying our students. And we found that around 40% of offer holders thought they might need some advice and support uh, with well-being, mental health in the first few weeks at LSC. So if you're feeling a little bit nervous and uns unsure about what lies ahead in, in the next year, you really are not alone. There are many ways that we can help and support you, whether you're feeling a little lost and maybe a little bit homesick, or if you need um, some advice and help with coping. Now, in these situations, you might wish to contact, for example, the Student Well 
well-being service. Our well-being service has professional counsellors. Um, our counselling service is fantastic. You can get support. Also, our disability and mental health service colleagues can uh, advise with things like learning adjustments. And if it's fellow students you'd prefer talking to, we have our wonderful peer supporters available as well. Now, 83% of the world professes to have a faith. Our faith centre has its doors open, not just to students of faith, but also those without. It gives a sort of safe space, a meditative space for you to reflect and take some time to relax. And um, there are a lot of pastoral services available also through the faith centre. So do, do have a visit. Now, while we're on the issue of well-being, please do remember to register with a local GP. A GP is a general practitioner, um, essentially a doctor. And we have the St. Philip's Medical Centre here on campus. They have years of experience looking after our students. And it's really important to register now, not maybe when you, when you fall ill or something and get the flu, so that the services are available to you exactly when you need them. So do, do sign up. Now, on a more positive note, there are other perhaps less obvious ways that can help improve your well-being, as well as potentially helping others and having some fun also uh, along the way. A good example of this is volunteering. We would like to embed a culture of volunteering within LSE's community by enabling students to engage with rewarding opportunities and facilitating their personal development um, whilst contributing to society, since after all, as Larry said, the betterment of society is one of LSE's important ethos. Now, the Students' Union plays a very important role in the life of LSE's community. And an important part of this is its contribution to student well-being and the student experience in general. So the SU and its societies can be a fantastic way of making new friends and, and pursuing perhaps old and new interests. Now, to tell us more about this and the work of the Students' Union in general, I'd, love, I'd like to hand over to Tito, the General Secretary. And before I do, we'll have another final poll. We would love you to vote for the Student Union activities that you're most looking forward to in the years ahead. Wow, it's great to see so many of you are so excited to get involved with the Student Union. Thank you all so much for filling out that poll. Um, I can see that you're very excited to get involved with our societies and our sports clubs. Um, and that's great. So hi everyone, my name is Tito Monaco, and as Demetra said, I am the General Secretary of the LSE Student Union. Today I'm just here to tell you a bit about the Student Union, who we are, and how you can get more involved. But firstly, I just wanted to say a big congratulations on making it to LSE. It's such an exciting achievement and I'm so excited to meet you all soon on campus. So who are the Student Union? The Student Union is a charity that operates alongside the university. Our main priority is being student-led and student-focused, so our goal is to represent your voice to the university. And as I said, we're student-led and student-focused, so this means that we elect students, such as myself, to lead our union. This year we have four sabbatical officers, we have the Education Officer, the Welfare and Liberation Officer, the Activities and Communities Officer, and myself, the General Secretary. Our societies are a very big part of the Student Union. We have just over 250 different societies and clubs. This is very, very exciting. And we've got such a wide range of different clubs you can get involved in, such as hobbies like the Poetry Society, Literature Society, Cooking Society. We've also got our sports clubs, and then we've also got career clubs and cultural clubs. So this means if you're an international student and you're coming here looking for community, you can always find your club by searching your, the country that you're from on the LSCSE website, and you can see the society that represents you. And we also have our sports clubs, which I saw many of you are very excited to get involved with. Um, this is a very big part of the student union. We love some healthy competition with other UK universities. And this is also a great chance for you to become a student leader. You could be the president of Netball Society, the secretary of the Dance Society, and you can also take part in a showcase where you can perform with your society for the whole university to see. So of course, welcome is coming up starting next week and we're very very excited to welcome you all onto our campus we've planned a wide range of events to say hello to you all our big one is our welcome fair which starts on tuesday the 24th and this lasts until thursday the 26th from 11 a.m to 4 p.m 
on those three days. It will be in the lower ground floor of the Marshall Building. And this will be a great chance for you to come and find out about all these societies and clubs, speak to student leaders, meet myself and the other Sebastopol officers. And we're very excited to have you all. We've also planned postgraduate and undergraduate boat parties, as well as a bunch of very exciting non-alcoholic events. So to find out more about our welcome week, scan the QR code, which is now on the screen. I'll pause for a second just to give you a chance to scan it. This will take you to our Instagram and our website and our welcome hub. This gives you a countdown to welcome and more information about everything we've got going on next week. Our spaces. So you can find the Student Union building in the middle of campus. It's the big red building, which is called the Sorcery Hawk Center. And we've got a wide range of spaces which you can join anytime. So we've got our gym, which is on the fourth floor of the Student Union building. We also have another gym on the lower ground floor of the Marshall building. Also in the Student Union building, we have the Denning Learning Cafe. This is a very exciting common room space, which also has a cafe. It's open all the time, so you can just walk in there, grab a drink with your friends and sit down and talk. This is on our first floor. And then on our ground floor, we've got the Three Tons, which is our iconic LSCSU student bar. This bar is as old as LSC, and it's a great space to grab a cheap drink with a friend. We also have the venue. This is on the basement floor of the Student Union building. And you'll probably find yourself in the venue at your departmental event. So this is a bigger space, which we use often for end of term events. So that's very, very exciting. And as Dimitra mentioned before, we also have the Faith Center, which is on our second floor. So if you ever want to pray or have a quiet moment to meditate, that's the perfect spot. So the LSCSU is very, very, very good at offering support to students. It's what we do. And we have our advice service. This is a free and confidential advice service, which all students can access. If you have an issue ranging from anything to do with housing, finances, or navigating an LSC system, you can submit a form to our advice service on the LSCSU website, and you'll be given a 45 minute session with one of our advice service members. This is a great way for you to get help from us and also to just know that we're always here for you. As Demetra said, the LSESU is based on LSE's foundation of giving back to the betterment of our society. And that's why it's very important to talk about our Consent Ed initiative. Consent Ed is an educational program which is compulsory for all students. The goal of Consent Ed is to raise awareness about safety on campus and make sure that we speak up against all forms of harassment and violence. So Consent Ed Level 1 is online. It's available now on your Moodle. So if you've not done it already, please do as it is compulsory. And Level 2 will happen in person as a part of your departmental induction. And this is very, very important because we want LSC to be a safe space for all students. I'm going to pass back to Demetra now. But just so you know, lscsu.com is where you can find out about all of these things. Thanks, Tito, for that wonderful introduction to everything the Students' Union has to offer and for reminding us that we expect our community to be great citizens in the way we behave towards and with each other. We expect all our students and staff to treat one another with respect and with dignity and to be kind to each other, both in person and, of course, online as well. We all wish to belong to a community that is harmonious and where each of us looks out for and helps each other. Now, LSE has given a lot of thought these last years to its ethical principles, and we have developed uh, our ethics code that we expect all members of our community, students and staff to abide by. Now, as Larry mentioned in his video, central to this is our commitment to promoting free speech on campus as long as it remains within the law. So as well as being academically challenged, there may be times when you find your views and opinions being challenged as well. So on occasion, you might find yourself even offended by something that you see or hear. Now, it's to be expected and an important aspect of being part of a community of scholars that we test our views and our opinions against each other. Now, we won't always agree and it wouldn't be very interesting if we were all mutual echo chambers for each other's views and opinions. Um, at the same time, we must ensure that when we debate, and some debates at LSE are very lively, um, that when we disagree, we do so with respect for each other. As with any other freedom, 
there is a responsibility to use the freedom wisely. It's also worth remembering that at its heart, much of the research that's conducted at LSC aims for the betterment of society. For example, research in climate change policy and seeking to use our influence on policymakers around the world for good. And this research feeds into the teaching we deliver into your academic curriculum, which is a really exciting thing about LSE in particular, being part of this wonderful social science university with all the research going on. Now, alongside this, we are committed, amongst other things, to being an ethical employer, to making our campus more sustainable and reducing our carbon footprint. I'm not sure you know, but in 2021, LSE became the first carbon neutral university in the UK. And alongside these efforts, we're also working to decolonize our curriculum as well, wherever possible. Now, as Tito pointed out earlier, a founding principle of LSE is to better society. And LSE is doing its best to be a good citizen. Now, we also expect each member of our community to be a good citizen as well. So we have high expectations of you, our students, not just academic ones. We think you're not just the brightest, but that you're the best as well. Now, we know you want to do the right thing, and there is an academic dimension to doing the right thing. We've already spoken about the expectation to work hard, but there's also an expectation that each of you will uphold academic integrity as well when producing your academic work. Now, what does that mean? That means that you will act with honesty, trust, fairness, respect, and responsibility. Now, as part of a community of scholars, you are expected to adhere to all those duties. What does it mean in practice? It means being honest, being honest in your studies, acknowledging the work of others, giving credit when you've used the idea of others to develop your own work and ideas. Now, like you, we want your degree to have worth. And for that to be the case, it must be honestly earned. We take academic integrity very seriously at LSC. Now, here are some examples of the sorts of behaviors we expect. I've already mentioned giving credit to others. That involves citing other people's work, referencing your sources. Another aspect is accurately reporting your research findings and abiding by ethical research policies. It is important to protect the reputation of your work and LSE, our reputation as well. And this combined is what ensures that the degrees that LSE offers are gold standard worthwhile. It is something that we should all work together to protect. Now we appreciate that it's not sometimes clear what is and isn't permitted in a particular assessment. And it might be different for different assessments for different courses and different departments. So if you're unsure, Ask for advice in good time before your coursework deadline so that you have the time to make any adjustments that you need, okay? Now, the advent of artificial intelligence models such as ChatGPT have made this even more complicated, right? Sometimes use of AI is permitted, sometimes it's not. The best place is your department. They will guide you on what is appropriate and what is expected for each piece of work. You can also ask your tutors, your academic mentor, and for practical advice, do visit LSE Life. They can advise you on all aspects around how to cite um, different sources, including uh, generative AI sources, and really in any um, issue, any as all aspects of this issue. So we are here to help, and we want to see you succeed fairly and um, for you to be proud of your achievements, as are we. Now, we're very near the end of our presentation now. And we hope that it's given you an insight into what it really is to be part of LSE. Please remember, there are lots of other in-person and online events happening this week and next, and they will help you orient yourself around our community, our campus, and of course, the city of London. Um, on your screen, you'll see a quick reminder of some of these events um, that are planned for the um, coming week. 
our local history tours are fantastic, give you a chance to delve into um, the area around LSC. And of course, our campus tours, if you're new to campus and still navigating your way around. I passed through LSE Welcome Square on my way into the session, and I already saw the marquee up with lots of games going on. So really exciting things. I'm sure everyone will find some activity or event to enjoy in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we certainly hope that there is something for everyone. Also a reminder of the tools available to help you prepare and navigate your first few weeks at LSE. I do urge you to check out um, our welcome guide. This contains really important information about um, your education, but also really practical things about living in London, what to do before and after you arrive on campus and so forth. The Prepare to Learn uh, tool at LSE is really great. And we have research that suggests that students perform better on average if they undertake this module because they're sort of more well better prepared to begin and that gives them a head start. Um, I've already mentioned the Student Hub app, but another quick mention, um, this is really a, um, a place where you can have a look at your personalised timetable, book office hours and other things as well. So do check out all these things. Now, finally, both Tita and I would like to thank everyone for joining us today. However long your journey with us lasts, we hope that you achieve everything that you want to, that you enjoy belonging and contrib contributing to this special place, to LSE's community. Thank you all for joining us today and have a wonderful year ahead. Goodbye from us.